Hi, welcome back. And today I'm going to take y'all on a journey that I did not think we'd be on this year. I have decided to enter Molly in a test after all this year. After talking to some people, I realized time is fleeting. She is about to be five and I really want to enjoy the years that I am able to enter her in a test. She is so close anyways. But I really just want to enjoy this year testing with her even if she doesn't pass. So we're going to be working on ground work today and then I'm going to take y'all to the lake with us this weekend and we're going to see how she transfers that over. First thing I'm going to see how she does with um, delivering the bumper to hand because we haven't done this in a while. Take it. She absolutely loves draft. Now water, she does everything in practice, but in a test, she um, just kind of runs out of the test site, and so I just haven't liked testing her. My training style has completely changed since I started her in water, and so that's kind of my hope this year, uh, is that something will click and she may enjoy testing a little more. I'm gonna see how her Hold is, come here, sit. She's very excited about this, so that makes me excited. Take it, hold it, hold, hold. Yes, nice job. Take it, hold it. Uh-oh, hold it. Oh, taking it from hand, sit. Take it. Warming her up to working again like this. We haven't done this type of stuff since draft and it's entirely different. Take it. Nice. Take it. Take it. Next I'm going to do an article and see if she will um, deliver an article to hand. What do you feed? Is just getting right back into it which I love now transferring it to the water is where um, she kind of struggles so I'll be interested to see how she does this weekend to watch her brothers go to practice every single Saturday and she's not gotten to go on she has not been able to go so I think that has sparked a little work drive in her. Um, she's always had work drive, but me harnessing it has been the issue right here. Bring it. Molly, right here. Take it. So she does not like pulling. Um, she does not like pulling. So that is awesome. She just pulled it a few inches. Show it again. bumper around. Take it. Go around. So here we need to start closer. Go around.
to the lake with us on Saturday and we'll see if she can transfer this stuff to the water and where she's at because sister is entered in a test this year, aren't you? Yes, you are. Good morning, we are on our way to the lake and just like I said, I am gonna take y'all on Molly's little journey of um, seeing if she is maybe cut out this year for a test. Like I said, I've trained, I've changed my training style a lot and so I'm excited to see how um, she's responding to that um, at the lake. So she's excited, she got to come with the boys every time we go to the lake. We go every week or a few times a week. She is always really mopey when she doesn't get to go because she loves to swim. She knows all the exercises and loves to do them in practice. It's just in a test setting where she kind of will just run off the beach and do whatever she wants. And she's at the junior level that Duke is at right now. So yeah, we are <laughs> excited to see how she does. So for the single retrieve, I was super excited with her drive and enthusiasm to go out to get the bumper. And as a nice bonus, she did come out and deliver it to hand after months of no expectation when swimming. So that was great. <laughs> For the article drop retrieve, she initially ran over to the side of the boat as that is where she gets paid and treats. And then I redirected her out and she went out and got the jacket. She just needed a little bit of focus and she started working right away. What you're seeing here is us mirroring exactly what we were doing at the house with the marker. We're just substituting it for a person. And we did it on land a few times around and then we're slowly moving it to the water, short distance, short distance, slowly increasing that distance. We wanna start small so that there's less room for the dog to fail. I really enjoyed um, seeing her enthusiasm for this. In a regular test setting, there will be a line that is dragging on the end of the bumper, but I decided not to add that element for her today, and we will work up to that. And remember when I said Boomer doesn't like it when I work other dogs? Well, there you go. As usual, he is out. He has gotten out from his crate. I think we had four or five bungee cords, all over his crate, carabiners, everything. He always manages to get out. He hates not being able to work. He hates not being able to be with me. And I love that, but he is a stinker. For Toa Boat, I really could have set her up better for success in this exercise. Had I started smaller and shorter distances she reluctantly goes out and grabs the bumper but she is not doing what she did last year which is pulling it in and beaching the boat and i shouldn't have expected her to pick up where she left off last year and so next week we're going to start a lot smaller we'll probably bring the raft out so it's not as much tension since she does have a soft mouth and we will build up to towing the boat and finally swim with handler Molly does this textbook, she does it beautifully, and I love how she came out. And this was our first time swimming together in a long time, and she came out and didn't climb all over me, stayed right where I was telling her to go, and directed back to shore pretty well. So I am super happy with that. starting Molly back up into water. So I do want to keep you updated on her progress. I am super happy with her enthusiasm in swimming in general, as you can't necessarily put swimming drive in a dog and she loves to swim. And so that is working for us. I'm super excited to be back out in the water with her again. And I think she's excited to be working again as well. We'll see. So have a good day or night wherever you are and we will catch you in the next one. Right, Molly? <laughs>